presented by Nando's and Spear Films. Proud investors in Okam and Ekaeli Cha. Golden Bear winner, 2005. Nando's, proud winners, Cannes Golden Media Line, 2005. <laughs> Making the impossible possible. In the past, it was impossible for most kids in the townships to go to the movie theaters. As a result, people made do with what they had. A torch, a tin, transparency and great storytelling to create magic. <laughs> This summer, a mad bomber is on the loose. <sighs> ah, oh. Hello? Yeah, listen here, Quentin. Right, right, there's a bomb on the taxi. If the taxi hits 120 kilometers per hour, the bomb is armed. If the taxi goes below 120 kilometers per hour, it's a kushumba. What do you do? The clock is ticking, Quentin. Making the impossible possible. In the past, it was impossible for most kids in the townships to go to the movie theaters. As a result, people made do with what they had. A torch, a tin, transparency, and great storytelling to create magic. This summer, a mad bomber is on the loose. Terrorizing the innocent residents of a not so quiet township. But there is one man who can stop him. He knows no fear. He is fear. Hello? Yeah, there's a bomb on the taxi. If the taxi drops below 120, it's a kusumba. What do you do? I'll stop you. <laughs> if you take any of the passengers off, there's a kusumbi, sir. The clock is ticking, Quentin. Nothing can stop him. Not even speeding an overloaded taxi. We are clearing the traffic. Keep driving fast. <laughs> hey, my daughter. Hey, man, I wish I could have the traffic led for me all the time. Hey, relax, man. I do this every day. Hey, Werner, have you never been in the taxi before? No, I'm a German tourist. You drive a Mesa. There's a terrorist in the taxi. No, I said tourist. I boy, you hate the man. I must keep driving fast. In fact, unga libali half time gayam. Speed, starring Kiano Kamzashe and Sandra Pukusha. Yes, here we go. Uh, welcome everybody. Thank you for the start of the show, and thank you very much for your support. You look fantastic. And we're going to hand back to the MC. Thank you very much for everyone for being here. Moving on. Cool. Right, thank you very much, Queen. Please take your seat. The brief from client was quite simply this, do not make another sponsorship commercial. While Nando's was obviously very proud to be involved in the Ukam and Ukai Alicia project, they wanted to leverage their involvement in the most real, sincere way possible. What was fascinating about the concept that we came up with is right from the time we presented it internally to the actual performance, it had the ability to capture the audience's imagination. I hope it captures yours. Enjoy. We wanted to make a cinema commercial that reflected the authenticity of South African storytelling. Uh, we wanted to make an ad with a difference, um, an ad that was purely South African in its conception and design. So from the projector to the film stock we used through to the storytelling, um, it would be an ad that the audience could participate with, that they could interact with, and that's creating a memorable experience. When I was young, uh, we used to watch uh, movies, homemade uh, bicycles, and there was this one guy called Zonke, and he was a, he was a projectionist, and uh, he used a can, a candle, and a transparent uh, plastic, and he would draw on the transparent plastic, like the famous movies like Bruce Lee, 
and uh, he projected that on a uh, white sheet and he was doing like sound effects and uh, that in itself inspired us to go way back and come up with like uh, this Nanda's ad that we did. When uh, we started talking about how movies were made in the townships with my doctor and I, we realized that we stumbled upon this great vehicle that we could use to, uh, to show uh, during the launch of the, of, of, of the Carmen in Kailita. And we decided to get a proper actor, a guy who would use the projector and perform in front of 300 people and, uh, on this massive screen. It was the most amazing experience and people just afforded at the end. It was beautiful.